Hello Internet and welcome to the fourth part of our pixel circle shader thing. Uh, still haven't figured out a name for it, but uh, we're working on it. So this is where we're at right now. Uh, we've kind of finished the basic, basic design. What I want to be able to do is make each of these circles change size based on the transparency or the alpha uh, value of the, the cell that we're selecting. Uh, so right now we just draw the color, which is great. But if I take like the this transparent version of our logo, uh, we just get a bunch of red dots. And that's because the image is entirely red and it has some alpha transparency. So what I want to do is adjust the radius of these circles based on the alpha transparency. I think this should be relatively easy. But I've thought that before and it wasn't, so we'll see. Uh, but what we want is we have a texture look up here. We want to move this up. Uh, up here, I think. Actually, no, we don't need to. Uh, so what, what we need to do is change this. This step function is not necessarily what we want anymore. Instead, I think <laughs> I'm going to feel silly if I if this is all I need to do. But I think we can because right now we want the radius if the radius is 0 0.5, we want it to be uh or or if it's within that 0 0.5 radius, we want to draw it. Uh but we can actually shrink that radius based on the alpha transparency. So if the alpha is 0, if it's in 0 radius, uh then we're going to do that. Which should mean we don't draw it at all. Uh but as that alpha increases, the circle should expand. Uh, so it'll be a linear expansion just because that's sort of what we're doing right now. But I think that that's really it. Well, that was that was uh, <laughs> this doesn't need it to be its own uh, its own video because <laughs> we're done. It works. Done. Cool. Next video. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think we're good. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end it. That's it. That's it. Bye.